Hey, what is up everyone? It is Glock here and we are playing Riot Civil Unrest. It's a new game that's been released on Steam. It released uh, on December the 6th. I'm recording this December the 9th, so I'm recording this three days after it's come out. If you don't know real-time strategy games or unit-based games, this may be a little of a new concept to you, but once I, once I actually get into the game, it will be simpler to, um, to explain it. I have played this game already. This is basically a re-recording of the first episode since it came out in a way where you couldn't really hear my audio. So, yeah, this is just going to be a re-recording of the same episode. I'm going to play through the same campaign, so I don't see anything new. Um, so I'm just going to explain to it as, as we go along, so we're going to go ahead and start here. There's three modes so far. You have the, um, when the menu loads in. You have the story mode, which is basically like the campaign, self-explanatory. Versus mode, I don't know what it is, if it's like local co-op or multiplayer or whatever. And then you have custom maps and modes and stuff, where you can create your own, play what people created, I guess, stuff like that. I don't know. This game is still pretty new. I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio here real quick. Uh, music off. Thank you. Apply. Back. So we have these three modes. I don't... This game is... Like, just came out, so I'm not expecting much, but... So far, based on what I've seen in this game, it's pretty fun. If you like real-time strategies and unit-based combat. But, um... Like I said, I have played through this, so I kind of know what to expect, but I've only played on uh, no tav. That's it, I haven't done this, I haven't done this, I unlocked this because I played this, but um... We're gonna keep it on too easy because I'm still a complete noob at the game. <coughs> and we're gonna go to Vesusa, Italy. Where the, see, I've completed all this, I've yet to do the police line. But um... Yeah, we're gonna start off with the rioters, and then maybe I'll try out the police. And uh... Basically, there's going to be some text that's going to show up on the screen that's going to tell you what's going on, like here in a second. <clears throat> the Italian government started building a massive transportation system in the Susa Valley, known as TAV, which is a high-speed train, to speed up the already existent transportation from Susa to Lyon. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. I'm going to apologize in advance if I butcher any of these names. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm sorry. The pro- uh... Um, the project was expected to be completed in 2035, like I said, I've already been through this. And I've been through this portion of the campaign. They said that all the force will be cut down, toxic chemicals will be everywhere. And that they've been, they've been protesting since 1992. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. So here we are, this is what the rioters set up look like. Uh, you got the crowd division, like how you want them to be set up, we can't change that right now. Flag quantities, uh, like these two, they affect how many people you see, you, you, um, you get in the participation. Down here it says expected participation. It may be more, it may be less. So if I go down to few, we'll get more people. If I go down to defenseless, we'll get more. I'm going to keep it on summon basic, because we are going up against riot police. <laughs> And uh, here are some items you can use, like here we have social media, also I've unlocked some of this stuff, like rockets, DIY smoke, paper bombs, for completing the, the thing. So I can use those technically, So, but we have social media which calls additional health, we have malox, or malox, which temporarily reduces smoke grenade effects. Right, and uh, I'm going to get Megaphone, which boosts the attention and discipline. Basically groups everyone in one specific area. And, um, hmm. Let's use firecrackers. Let's take some firecrackers. Just in case. And uh, objective is displacement. We have four and a half minutes to do this. You will never do anything in this world without courage. It is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor. By a r I'm not even going to pronounce the name because I don't want to butcher it. But this game also has some pretty fanatic quotes that, that like really weigh heavy on you. But here we have the sun rising in 2011 over the Italian mountain ranges. And the Polizia are driving down and looks like they're in full riot gear. There's a car. They figured out what's going on. And here they go, they go signal everyone else that the police are coming, the police are coming. This is the British, back in 1700s, but modernized. 
Here they go marching in with their lines and skid loaders and vans. They're gonna go break down the fence here where everyone's gathered. Shooting some smoke grenade. That guy in the, the truck, he don't he don't care. He's just gonna bust bust through the wall. Also, I forgot to mention this game is very pixelated, which kind of adds to the confusion because sometimes you don't know what is going on. It's just it's really pixelated. It, it looks like um uh the game. I, I want to say Beat Cop, but I also want to say Zombie Night Terror, if you've ever seen that. So, I'm already going to tell him to go hold position there. Just so we can get, like, a defensive line established from the riot police. Uh, offensive mode. Don't want to activate that just yet. Come on, guys. Oh, I forgot. You have to right-click to tell him where to go. Push him back. Push them back. We will not be silenced. I activated choir. My bad. Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. Basically, our objective is they we have they have the police have to destroy these tents. We have to prevent them from destroying the tents. So we're just gonna keep them at bay here for now. We seem to be doing a pretty good job at it with three and a half minutes left to spare. We've just absolutely pushed them back to the line. They have their smoke grenade guys over here. I don't know what they're doing. Um, we got some people hanging around in the back. They, they don't want to get involved, but this guy is still brave enough to just hold up his flag. Right then, the heart. Oh, no. Now, now they're going to start attacking people. Choir. They will not break us. Call some social media support. So now we're going to have some people running out of the woodwork, quite literally, to come and help us. These, these guys. Oh, my God. These riot men are just beating down on everyone. We're going to throw some firecrackers at them. Hopefully get them to disperse. This group over here. You guys are going to hold position over there. Uh, stimulus are wearing off. Morale is going down. Careful men, the press will eat us alive. Also, the media plays a big role in this game. They're pushing their guys, guys. They're pushing through. Get, get over here, please. They've busted down one of our, our tents, so we lost an objective. I don't think. What was it saying? Oh, right. The media does play a big role in this game. That the media determines how much of an advantage you'll have in the coming chapters. So, if like you're very aggressive with it, the media won't be supporting you, and they'll support the other side more, and vice versa. See, because they, they keep attacking us. It's like someone's just been hurt. Entertain the right the hard way it is. We're staying peaceful. Actually, one of our groups turned offensive automatically. Uh, chant. Can we not chant? We can't chant. Okay. Sit down. Just stand your ground. Stay peaceful, please. Stay peaceful. And just chant. And just chant, okay? Just chant. We'll hold the position over this way. Right, they will not break us. And then tell them to sit down. And then you guys to sit down as well. So they have to push, they have to forcibly push through us. We're just going to tell them to sit down there. It's going to be a minute 20. We have to hold this position. They're just beating people down over there. Oh my god. Firecrackers, we need firecrackers. Someone yeet the firecrackers in there already. Get them to disperse. I can't get them to choir. The cops are desperately trying to push through by beating people down. The stimulants are wearing off apparently, so shouldn't be too much of an issue. We're going to continue through to toss firecrackers at this advancing line of men over here. Hopefully get him to disperse. We have 40 seconds left. We will not be broken. Our chain will not be broken. Feel bad for this guy's tent, whoever that guy's tent is. He, see, he's just standing there just like, oh man. Lost everything. My only tent. It was my good tent, too. But no, you got some people standing around waiting. They don't want to get involved in the conflict. This guy's cheering us on. Oh man. He's really supporting what we're doing. 
but so far the police have failed to advance and destroy all the objectives with five seconds left. I don't think they're going to do it. They, they are aggressive. Actually, no stimulus are going down. The area was successfully protected. Look at that. All you need to do is just keep your hands up and sit down. And you get a match. You get a result at the end that basically says uh, which side did what. They wounded 137 rebels. No one was killed, which was good. We didn't capture policemen. They didn't capture rebels, but they did cause a lot of property damage. So they got a more. They got also got a bigger violence result than we did. So. Riders defended their ground. The police committed heavy acts of violence. The riders were under control. And this will lead to an extreme advantage on the riders during the next event. So basically the public has more support for us than the police right now because they basically decided to club people. And we have a newspaper now that says, Riot turns violent as police fail to evict angry mob agitators. And if I can scroll down on the daily newswire... At 12 o'clock in the afternoon today, 30 policemen were unable to evict 300 protesters from an occupied area. The clashes caused 137 injuries in 15 minutes. Can you imagine being in a riot for 15 minutes just with the constant threat of being pelted or something? Just and see, because we were peaceful for, mo for the most part, we now have a bigger outturn of people. And I'm going to stick with the megaphone because the megaphone is it's too OP. Please nerf. Except don't. Um, I haven't, they haven't used smoke grenades yet. Um, but I'm just going to keep the Malox just in case they do. I'm going to keep the Malox on me. The greatest tragedy of social transition is not the stride, the strident clamor of bad people, but the appalling silence of the good people by Martin Luther King. Like I said, there's some great quotes in this game. We're knocking down the wall. Knocking down the fence. Come on, guys. Like I said, I've already played through this, so I kind of know what, what what's going on and what's the strategy for this. So, if... No, no, they're getting ready. He's putting on his helmet. And bringing in the water cannon. Water cannon. And here we come. That guy's carrying like some sort of riot shield. Oh, man. And the pixels are just like, oh, man. Get the people knocking down the, the wall over here. They, they gave it one kick and it just went down. Okay. Alright, megaphone in here. Everyone charge in there. Except not because they deployed smoke. Everyone get, get take your Malox pills, please. Take your Malox pills. We're getting a giant group of people in there already because of the megaphone. They can't... Oh, man. Look at that wave of protesters. Megaphone OP. Megaphone OP. Protest reached destination. That was fast. We just ran in there. They, they, we busted down the wall and it's just like, bam, gone. Riders were able to reach their destination. Everyone moved cautiously and was peaceful. There will be no kind of advantage for either faction. Peaceful protesters move across 40 policemen. The protesters managed to pass through a police block of 40 units this afternoon at 1.30 in the afternoon. Some mild clashes occurred, but no one was severely injured during the event. I was like trying to convert military time there. And uh, on to the next mission. The A32 highway, and we have to occupy the highway in five minutes. Good lord. And we're bringing protective gear. But look at this participation. 425 people. Good lord. We also have this picture camera. Docu document the event by taking specific pictures. Giant air quotes around the specific. Influencing the media result. We got the good old Malox or Malox. I don't know how to properly pronounce it. I'm sorry. We're bringing some rocks. That can't be good. And of course we have the firecrackers. And we got some protective gear. But with 425 people, I'm pretty sure this is going to be very, very easy. A non-violent group has much more control and is less likely to escape. Oh, it's a gameplay tip. It's not a, it's not a, a quote. I was like trying to think, who said that? 
got some, we got some people setting up campfires. This guy over here has a shop. Man, these people, they're, these people making home. They're making a home here. We got another campfire over here. These guys are talking. You know, having a grandiose time. And uh, now it's the early morning. One woman woke up. It's now. It's been a year since we last saw the protests. And uh, oh no, the police have arrived. Everyone's starting to gather. <laughs> it's a lot of them. A lot of policemen. They're going with the skid loader. And we're being surrounded by rioter, by by riot police. Some this guy right down here. He's got the video camera. It's now the evening. They've released one of the protests. Oh man, they kicked him to the ground. What was that? Kicked him to the ground. They got the water cannon this time. Um. Hmm. But with 425 people, I doubt. I doubt they're going to be able to push this aside. See, these guys already got the right idea. They already got their hands up and everything. I didn't bring a megaphone. Lost of firecrackers. Let's let's try the violence because I haven't I haven't actually seen what the violent um, way does because I've tried to become peaceful, but I guess this, since it's re-recording I'll retry it again since I've already completed this story mission. Area successfully occupied. Turned violent at the end, but we did it anyway. All right, what's the result? Wounded five policemen. They still got a less political assault that will lead to a big advantage on the rioters side. Riot turns violent as police fail to evict an angry mob. 100 policemen weren't unable, were unable to evict 700 protesters, which caused 67 injuries. 60 minutes was how long the fight lasted, good lord. And then this is the uh, final mission, which is... Uh, I'm actually, I, cause, because I played this and I tried using the rockets, the rockets didn't work. So I'm just going to switch that out for the megaphone. Armored because we have to cause property damage. So let's do it. Non-violence is infinity superior to violence. However, if the only choice would be between cowardice and violence, I suggest violence. Made, or quote said by Gandhi. So basically, if you have to be a coward and you must stand your ground, then the only other way is violence. Total of four years since the beginning of this campaign. We're now in 2015. And um, we have to cause property damage, which is destroy all the generators within the time limit. So we're just going to tell everyone, megaphone over that way, and at least get that one out of the way. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed by Charlie Chaplin. I'm gonna skip that, since we've already seen that. And I'm just, like I said, megaphone right there. Everyone just start wailing on the generator, will you? And now everyone megaphone over there. We're getting the generators, that's for sure. Yeah, we got that one. Alright, now everyone just megaphone it over there so we can at least, like, get them inside for for the most part. We're pushing the riot police back. They're defending the last generator. That police van just on the retreat. Just keep on inquiring. Keep on inquiring. Preach, preach the word of, of peace because apparently violence seemed to just not have worked out. Oh no. Got the smoke coming in. We got people destroying the generators though. They're attacking us. They're attacking us. But all objectives were successfully destroyed. Alright, that, that seemed to go fairly well and fairly successful. 
We they wounded three of us. We got a lot of property damage. The riders were generally peaceful. Everyone's under control. There will be a slight advantage for the riders side during the next event. However, acts of vandalism in Italy, despite the resistance of 20 police officers, several acts of property damage were caused by riders. Even though a few were injured, it appears most managed to go home without being severely harmed. Now, this is the final mission of the Italy campaign, so there's going to be a little cutscene that plays out here. Um, if the game will load, hopefully it hasn't crashed on me. Yep. Everyone running away. Everyone's tired. They they. Some riders, some riders are being arrested. Generally, everyone's kind of just going home tired. Even even the cops are kind of just like, man, tough day. Isn't it? But alas, on a bridge, there's a man waving a flag. This man takes out his binoculars. And this ma this one rider waves the flag that says, "We will not have the tap." We're gonna skip this. Well, guys, well, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And maybe even leave a comment if you want me to continue playing Riot Civil Unrest. I find this game pretty fun. It's kind of interesting. I could probably check out the uh, police side if you want me to, or I can continue the rioters within another campaign of maybe, um, what is this? Greece or Egypt or, where is this? Spain. If you guys want me to do that, let me know. Or I could retry some of the missions on harder difficulties to see if I've. If I actually have some skills and I'm not a noob or a scrub. However you want to call it. <coughs> Sorry about that. But if this game does interest you in any way, I highly suggest you go check it out. It's called Riot Civil Unrest. I know I said that like a hundred times by now. I find it very fun. You may find it very fun. Even though this game has some touchy subjects here and there about people getting hurt, fighting for their civil liberties and stuff like that. I don't condone violence of any kind. But um, I'm just making this to show you guys this game that kind of simulates it. It's like a riot simulator. But, you know, guys, I'll leave you all a salute and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.